Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you have been binging this Disney vlog series, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Today, we are off to Hollywood Studios. We are only going to be there for about five hours today because we have something very spooky and very special planned for tonight. I will be putting out whatever that may entail in the next vlog in this series. Today, we're having a little bit of a late start to the day since we're going to be out really late tonight. It is currently 9.52 a.m so almost 10. We're going to take the bus over to Hollywood Studios and probably get lunch around 11. I know all of us are craving some pizza Rizzo's, so I'm pretty sure that's where we are going to head first. Speaking of the Muppets, today I decided to wear my brand new The Muppets t-shirt. I'm obsessed with this shirt. I got it oversized to wear with some shorts, so we are going for a very comfy, cute look today. My mom just helped me touch up my hair. She's switching out her backpacks. My dad is finishing getting ready and then we are going to head out these are sitting in front of me do they match my outfit I don't know I will have to investigate I also don't want to mess my hair up because it needs to last really late tonight this is an off-camera problem all right I will see you guys when we start making our way over to the bus stop Star Tours. It said it was a 10 minute wait, but it was literally a walk on. We got a new combination of video that we've never gotten before. I remember the second half, but not the first half. If you don't know, they have X amount of different combinations that you could get while you're on the ride. So every single time you ride it, it's a unique experience for you. That was super fun and I'm glad my mom enjoyed it because usually she doesn't like riding that ride. After Star Tours, we just took a quick walk over to the Muppet area. We ended up watching the Muppet 3D show. That is always so good. It's just iconic. Now we just ordered lunch at Pizza Rizzo's. I talked about this earlier, but we come here every single time. Although it's like a standard Disney pizza, it just hits and the atmosphere inside Pizza Rizzo's is always quality. So let's go in and I will show you guys around. Also over here there's this snowman ever since I was three years old that I take my picture with. Also my dad jumps in a picture with me. So we had to recreate that photo and I will pop it here on the screen. So stinking cute to literally watch me grow up with this snowman. It's super noisy in here. They don't have their upstairs seating open for some reason. So I'll just quickly show you what we got. This is the cheese pizza and it comes with a free Caesar salad on the side. This is my mom's tree nut free pepperoni pizza and she got a different type of salad and then my dad just got the same thing as me but a pepperoni pizza. How was lunch? Good. What do you rate it? I'll give it a good five out of five, I guess. Five out of five, definitely my favorite place to eat here. I also give it a five. Goofy is back meeting over there. Sometimes you can find Mr. Powerline himself here too, Max. 
Now we are just crossing into Batu, aka Star Wars land. We don't really have any plans just because all of the wait times are insane. So we're just gonna mosey about until we decide on something to do. Zero. We literally just walked right up and we got put in our group and on we went. I definitely recommend doing single rider on Smuggler's Run just because they are always looking for extra single riders to fill the spaces since it's six per car instead of another number. He goes, we're engineers here. So all you have to do is push the buttons that line up. I said, that's easy. He goes, be thankful you don't have a three-year-old like he had before. He goes, all we did is spend the entire time like this. Just like that, from Batu, you can cross over into Toy Story Land. We can try. If not, we can just go. And... So we were looking on the My Disney Experience app at the wait times and it said Toy Story was closed. So we just decided to wait by the entrance in hopes that they would open it. We literally got to the entrance, stood for one minute, and he's like, welcome, it's open. And now, no one's in line. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're literally getting a walk on Toy Story. Say less. Say less. That hurt so bad. Oh, way to play, everyone. <laughs> hey, that's me. My final score that my phone tells me that I got was 195,900. Not too bad. You beat dad. That's sprinting. You want cookie? He wants a biscuit. See you later, Woody. <laughs>
and Mickey right there. It's not a traditional head and ears. It just spells Mickey, M-I-C-K-E-Y. As y'all just saw, we did Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It was supposed to be a 75 minute wait. The line was short, so we got in line knowing it wouldn't be that. But then they started letting a whole bunch of lightning lane people through and the ride broke down. So we got to sit in the air conditioning for like 10, 15 minutes. It was a good ride, but we just waited a very long time for it. My mom really wanted to do it, so that is why, and I am glad she is happy now. After standing for like an hour and a half and riding the ride, we were thirsty and our legs hurt, so we decided to sit down and grab an icy. Zoom. The amount of these that I consume within a Disney week is unmatched, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Look how cute. And with that final icy, we are calling it a wrap on Hollywood Studios for this afternoon. I will debrief once we get back to the hotel. Looky how cute Minnie Mouse is up there. She is in her classic costume. It's very rare to find Mickey and Minnie in their classic costume, so it's nice to see her out in her red polka dot dress. We always end up having to run to our bus. <sighs> We get the Mickey bus. And just like that, we already made it back from Hollywood Studios. It did not take long to get back here at all today. It literally only took 15 minutes. It's only 4.15 p.m. So we're gonna have a couple hours rest before vlog number two starts for today. But before I end this vlog, you already know what time it is. We have to do our favorites and least favorite moment from today. I think I'm going to start rather than my parents because they're still trying to think and get a few things done around here. So, Hmm. My favorite moment from today has to be either eating at Pizza Rizzo's and just getting that iconic pizza and little side salad or walking on all of the rides that we did. We actually ended up walking on four attractions, so that's really good, especially since how busy it was. Everybody has been posting online in like the Disney World group chats that there has been no crowd today at Magic Kingdom. It's probably because there's a Halloween party tonight, so a lot of locals don't want to go there, especially since it's a Sunday for only half a day and I looked at those wait times it's literally like 20 minutes for pirates so in hindsight we should have gone to Magic Kingdom today but usually you avoid the busiest park on the weekend so now we know for next time my least favorite moment for today probably has to be just waiting in the Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway line it took a little bit longer than we thought like I said because it shut down so it just got a little tiring standing up for an hour but it was still a really good attraction my most favorite time of the day was Smuggler's Run that we were able to walk right onto it. It just made it more enjoyable because there was no wait time. We just literally walked in, walked up the stairs, and boom, we are right on the ride. Second was the pizza place, just because we've always gone to that place, and so it just brought back memories. Least favorite? We really didn't have a least favorite moment of today, so not a bad day. Favorite moment from Disney Hollywood Studios today was eating at Pizza Rizzo's and going on the Muppets ride because today's Jim Henson's birthday. I love my Muppets. And least favorite would probably be, I don't know when the ride broke down for Mickey and Minnie's. It wasn't long, but it was over an hour that we waited, but it was worth the wait. Overall, a good day and the icy made it better at the end. Overall, it was a really good short day at Hollywood Studios. We ended up accomplishing a lot more than I thought we were going to, especially with just walking on the rides. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As always, thank y'all so much for watching, especially for tuning in to this Disney vlog series. If you've missed any episodes so far, I will link the playlist down below. I also will have lots more vlogs coming out in this series, so be sure to stay tuned for that. If you liked this short Hollywood Studios day, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below for future Disney adventures. And with all that, I will catch you in the next one. See ya. Oh my gosh, I'm getting wet. Oh, it's getting all over my camera. Dad was looking at his M&Ms. Take them, take them. I want a water. You can a water while you're standing there. I'll take mine too, please. Anybody want a snack? Yeah, I'm getting some chocolate. What's this? They're all different things. There's Rolos, there's Nutter Butters, there's Crackers, there's Oreos, there's Starburst. Was I came out on TV. That's Kansas City Chiefs. Just start. Yay! And first thing they show is Taylor Swift up in the box. Go on. She came? Yeah. Oh! Second. Second game now. I don't want those. What?
but you're both staring at me.